What's going on YouTube? It's Dolly back in the house and man do we got a crazy video for you today. But first of course if you're brand new to this channel make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button. Give us a like, ring the bell for notifications and of course feel free to share my ugly face on any social media platform you choose. Now my boy Johnny5 always has the latest and greatest news for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump over to Johnny Five. Johnny Five here back with the latest news. Let's jump into it. Families and friends of three men found dead outside of a home earlier this month in Northland. Kansas want answers from police. All three men, fans of the Kansas City Chiefs, had gathered to watch a football game at their friend's house. Just days later though, their bodies were located in the residence's backyard. The homeowner, who has not been charged and has been cooperating with police, says the men froze to death. But family and friends told Dolly that this is one of many details that doesn't add up for them. Police confirmed to press they are not investigating this case as a homicide. Initial gathering, Sunday, January 7th. David Harrington, 37, 38-year-old Ricky Johnson, and 36-year-old Clayton McGinney went to a friend's house to watch the Kansas City Chiefs game. The game kicked off at 3.25 p.m. and ended almost exactly three hours later, according to a post on the team's social media. For the next 50 hours or so, loved ones heard nothing from the three men, victims found. Tuesday, January 9th. The fiancé of one of the men showed up at the home and started banging on the door, but no one answered. She broke through the basement, found one man dead on the back porch, and called the police, who found the two other men also deceased in the backyard. Police issued a statement the next morning, saying they found no obvious signs of foul play. A search warrant wasn't required to enter the residence because of the homeowner's cooperation, the statement said. Friday, January 12th. The three victims' bodies are identified. Ongoing investigation. Thursday, January 18th. Jacob Bekina, a spokesperson for the Kansas City Police Department, sent the press a statement saying the next phase in the investigation would be to receive the medical examiner's determination of a cause of death. That would be the thing that would drive any additional investigative steps, Bekina said. There is no change in the preliminary investigative findings. There have not been any indications of foul play. Autopsies were conducted on all three men. Tuesday and their results are pending, a medical examiner spokesperson told USA Today. Dolly tried multiple times to reach out to the homeowner to no avail. Unanswered questions. Key issues that people want clarity on include, did these three men actually freeze to death? Why was the homeowner allegedly ignoring someone banging on his door? And what evidence did police have to almost immediately rule out a homicide investigation? Johnson's mother, Norma Chester, said the man who lived in the house should at the very least be investigated, but told the press she feels the police aren't doing anything to advance the case. His brother, Jonathan Price, said there are many things that don't add up. Although Johnson, Harrington, and McGinney had been inseparable, Price said he did not know the person whose house they were found at. I don't like to speculate very much, Price said, but my brother was a smart man, and there's no way that he would just freeze to death. Freezing to death is not a cause of death that I would accept. Harrington's mother, Jennifer Marquez, said she's furious. Nobody believes this story. None of his friends, none of the families, none of us believe it, Marcus said. Marcus said in an interview with Wedaf TV that losing her son was the most devastating moment of her life. I was at work, and I just never thought I'd be one of those people that would respond the way I did, she said. I collapsed, I think. I don't remember. Her son, Marquez recalled, was the funniest guy ever. He would tell a joke or just he'd act silly, and he'd have the whole room laughing and everybody missing that, she said. Alan McGinney, Clayton McGinney's cousin, said in the Kansas City Star that his relative had worked to better himself for the last decade. As an adult, 
Clayton McGinney was into motorcycles and traveled the country and would take trips to the West Coast, carrying with him only a backpack. He was on a good path, Alan McGinney said to the newspaper. He cared about that. Chester said Johnson had been a loving son, father, brother, and uncle. Okay, that was the latest news. Now, back over to you, Dolly. Now, I told y'all, that was absolutely crazy. You know what else is crazy? Having dry skin. You know how you can avoid that? By buying Dolly soap. I am the creator of the best soap in the world. And you can get yourself a bar at www.buydollysoap.com. We also have an awesome line of sunglasses out, hoodies, t-shirts. Make sure you check out the merch store. Guys, tell me what you think about this video in the comment box down below. Replay crew, tell me what you think. And of course, I will see you guys next video. Dolly, Johnny Five, we're out. <laughs>